revitalization of land and the re-equilibrium of the soil plant binomial are very real parameters that are fundamental for modern agriculture, on which the researcher Alessandro Mendini has been working to provide a scientific aid to farm production systems, the environment, and then of course to man. In 2005, given the conditions of agricultural soils, I made available to the clients of AXM31, free of charge, a specific product for decontamination to be used for three years, the time necessary for the revitalization of land. Of course, this should have been a task for the Ministry of Agriculture. Nematodes, blossom end rot, fusarium and corky root are some of the problems affecting modern agriculture, but they can all be attributed to a single cause, loss of biological equilibrium. The researcher Alessandro Mendini has studied these pathologies and formulated exclusive magnetic formulation nanostructured products. AXM31 has translated this huge innovation into the production of farm inputs for reconstituting the biological chains and resolving pathologies. The excellent results that have been achieved on four horticultural farms specializing in tomato cultivation are reported here. In 2005, the Cascina Santa Marta farm in Milan, specializing in the field cultivation of tomatoes for sauce, destined for the fresh produce market, asked AXM31 for a decontamination of its land to cure fungal diseases, in particular Tracheofusariosis, Fusarium oxysporum. The incidence on crop damage was 90%, and production was limited to 2.5 tons per hectare. After the first year of treatment, production had reached 32 tons per hectare, in other words, 13 times higher than that in 2005, while crop damage was limited to 5 to 10 percent. In 2007, the second year of treatment, this percentage had reduced to 0.07, and the yield was 24 times higher than that obtained on the same plot in the year prior to starting the treatments. In 2005, Bampa Sergio and Bampa Ezio farms at Alpo di Villafranca Verona specialized in the production of high-quality tomatoes of the types Oxheart, Plump Salad and Candy Cherry asked AXM31 to identify the causes for the poor quality quantitative yield. The plant samples examined by Alessandro Mendini showed that there were multiple causes. The disease corky root, Pyrenochyta lycopersici, the presence of radioactivity and heavy metals in the well water used for irrigation, an alteration of the primary genetic code of the plant following processes of genetic manipulation of the seed, which had led to malfunctioning of the vegetative and reproductive growth. The re-equilibrium of the crops with the AXM31 magnetic formulation nanostructured products produced excellent results, such as the disappearance of curled leaves, disappearance of corky root despite the perlite utilized for five to six years, a much higher yield than that of the previous year. The result was striking, particularly on the plump salad tomato that registered an increase of 27.3%. On candy cherry and ox heart, the weight and number of fruit per truss was 20 to 25% higher than the untreated. In 2004, 
Axe M31 examined the case of an ultra-modern farm that flanked the bio axter technology with the Dutch system of hydroponics cultivation of plump salad and on the vine tomatoes to increase the harvest quality and storability. These objectives having been achieved, the request followed to reduce the substantial losses in the cultivation of plum tomatoes, San Marzano variety Oscar, attributed to tomato blossom end rot. This pathology, which is widespread in the cultivation of all the plum varieties, appears on the fruit already 10 to 15 days after fruit set, when it is between 2 and 6 centimeters. The tip of the affected fruit is initially a translucent green color, which becomes increasingly darker and more necrotic until it blackens completely within a week. Growth ceases and the affected fruit remains small and a squat shape instead of elongated and pointed. Tomato blossom end rot had always been present on the sample farm, causing an average annual drop in production of 30 to 40%, with peaks of 55 to 60 percent in particularly hot years. With Protocol 12, the Axe M31 Scientific Assistance Unit set up a study to overcome the problem. Tomato blossom end rot has always been attributed to physiological causes linked to a lack of calcium, but Alessandro Mendini's study showed that it is an entomophilus phytopathology. As early as the year 2000, he had identified the cause as egg-laying by a winged insect. The adult insect is about 2 to 3 millimeters and is similar to a Clistogastra hymenoptera, Vespidae family. In other words, with the body composed of clearly separated head, thorax and abdomen. The eggs are laid in the tips of the fruit at night during warm periods. The dark-colored entry points of the ovipositor organ are visible. In a short time, the whole tip becomes translucent and the necrotic process begins. High temperatures inside the fruit encourage the eggs to develop into larvae, which feed on the rot until they reach the pupa chrysalis stage and then finally become adults. The entire metamorphosis of the insect takes around four weeks, also favored by the fermentation of rotting fruits left in the field, and is repeated until the temperatures drop, to then recommence when the remaining eggs find the necessary conditions for their development. The plant activates a defense system against the insect by emitting magnetic frequencies that although imperceptible to humans, disturb the egg-laying activity. This defense capability is reduced by water shortages, temperature fluctuations or not well-prepared soil, abiotic stresses that cause disequilibrium in the life cycle of the plant and favor insect attacks. The life cycle and metamorphosis of the insect was reproduced in the laboratory starting from specimens of fruit that showed symptoms of the disease. The use of the Axe M31 magnetic formulation nanostructured products proved successful in controlling the action of the insect by boosting the plant defense system. In 2006, the cultivation of plum tomatoes on the sample farm involved a surface area of 12,100 square meters, divided into four plots, transplanted at two different times. The crops were treated with BioAxta M31 and BioAxta M31 Potentiator, specific for soil decontamination. The first transplanting of 6,800 plants, variety Oscar, was on the 20th of April on a plot A of 3,100 square meters.